relate to my story can you follow my dreams and aspirations that i had ever since i was 13 my mama believed in me she let me use her van to go to the studio even though she know her tank is empty that's who i do it for my pops got a different approach yeah he believed but he always welcome back you guys your boy ck and today we're doing the oldest draft champions team challenge and this is pretty simple man the cards you see on the screen whoever's the oldest out of the bunch is going to be chosen so as you can see we're going to take big red andy reed welcome to the team here we go in round one you guys see him lance briggs 35 year old is going to be on the squad man it's pretty simple just going like that in every single round getting the oldest guy this time we get an all elite round and we're going to end up getting a defensive player mlb 86 overall daryl smith Early on, there's been some cut and dry decisions, but trust me, it's going to get a lot closer as these rounds progress. As you see, we're getting a Captain Munderland, 84 overall cornerback. The defense looking pretty good. Can we get some offensive love? And no, we're getting an all elite round. All of them are defense, except for Rodney Hudson, but doesn't matter. We're getting a keep to lead 30 year old. And trust me, this defense is looking really, really nice so far. We finally get an all offensive round, but we're going to have to settle for a lineman, Marcus Gilbert, right tackle, 81 overall. And here we go some more elites that's what i like to see man more defense and this time it's going to be strong safety patrick chung a card that i'm using in mutt and i actually like him a lot so that's a very nice pull round number seven and we're going to end up with a lineman again this time is 89 overall nick mangled so yeah some pretty nice pulls so far this is crazy i did not expect this draft to be this nice and we're going to end up with a 90 overall d tackle darnell docket some fire pulls in the last couple rounds and it keeps on getting better Tom Brady, 90 overall quarterback from the New England Patriots. That's an amazing pull right there. We got very fortunate. And then we get even more fortunate in the next round. MJD, 92 overall halfback. Welcome to the squad, man. I can't believe the pulls that I'm seeing right now. And we finally let us simmer down, man. We were on fire in the last few rounds. We're going to settle for V. Diddy, Vernon Davis, 84 overall tight end. That's actually our first receiving target, so I'm hoping for some nice wide receivers. Or oh, I'll take some nice left end. JJ Watt, 26 year old. He's older than Will Hill, but he's younger than Calais Campbell. So we got to settle for the left end from the Arizona Cardinals. And now we're seeing some legends in round number 13. Julio, get out of here, man. You're too young. It's actually going to be Dermani Dawson, the center from the Steelers. So we have two centers sharing up that offensive line. And this round is just ridiculous. Look at the dudes that we have an option to take, man. Sherman or Cam Chancellor. I had to do some digging. And I found out that Cam Chancellor was actually born on April 3rd. And then Sherman was born on March 30th. So that means the Shermanators coming to the squad, man. Well, look at our cornerbacks, man. We have to leave Sherman, Munderland. And this is the last round, the legend round. I don't know how Kavnik's already here. He's still in the game, but whatever. Doesn't matter, man. Cunningham and Reed were both 52, but I went with the wide receiver. Don't kill me for that one. They're both the same age. I didn't have any wide receiver, so I had to do what I had to do. And our squad is looking pretty good, man. 83 overall. I don't think I've ever had that overall before in draft champions. So one of my best drafts happens to be one where we're forced to take a certain player, man. This is just absolutely insane. I actually like doing this a lot, man. It took a little bit of time just Googling some of these guys' ages, but it was still fun to do, and I'm definitely looking forward to doing something like this in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe for more videos just like this, and as for me,